All right, here we go. Welcome, everybody, to the Tuesday evening screencast video coaching call. My name is Lon Naylor. I'll be your host tonight. Let's do one other thing here. Speaking of color tricks, one of the updates for PowerPoint 365. Let's go to shape format again and change the shape fill. In addition to the eyedropper, of course, again, we can pick certain colors, use the eyedropper, or go to more fill colors. And traditionally, what you could do if you had a color value, you could enter in the RGB value. Well, apparently Microsoft is awakened from their brain dead coma, and you can now enter a hex value, which lots of programs use and to identify colors. So let's jump over to Camtasia for a second. Well, let's see here. Here I have a call out. Let's say I want to make sure that my PowerPoint content uses this shade of green for this call out. Right? So all I have to do is go and let's go to the properties. And again, you can get hex values from lots of different sources and places. But here, I just use Camtasia because it happens to provide a hex code. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to control C. Let's go back to PowerPoint. And in the hex value here, now, like magic, we can now enter a hex value. Way to go, Microsoft. Only about 15 years too late with that guy. Oh! So there's that. All right, a couple of quick PowerPoint tips and tricks for you. Does anybody have any other questions? Questions or comments? Leave them. I love them. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more stupid tricks and stuff. Okay, I think that's it then. Hopefully you guys found some of that useful. I'll get the replay out. Everybody have a good one, and I'll talk to you all later.